Destiny's Child may be heading to Broadway. Tierra Marie is still on the run from 50 Cent. And Scott Disick may be getting his own show. We will be talking all about it on Back to Reality. Stay tuned. You're tuned into Black Hollywood Live, the world's first digital broadcast network devoted entirely to urban entertainment and pop culture. Tune in right now. (laughs) Hey, peeps. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday at that. I am your girl, Nakia Monet. Welcome back to Back to Reality, the craziest show on the planet. I am here with my girl. Hey, Kiki Boom Boom. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Drew. (laughs) Okay, Drew J for the youth. Yeah, so Drew is uh, hanging out with us today, holding it down for Howard. 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 With a T. Hi, Howard. Hi, Howard. Howard is with his fam, living his best life. I've been stalking him on Instagram. He needs to come back home. But my girl, Drew, is here. Actually, so for those who don't know, Drew is our permanent fill in. <laughs> we don't ask her, we tell her. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just sit at home and wait until I get the text and then I pop Drew, up. when we live in her best life, we're like, hey, girl, so Sunday, great. One of us won't be here. So welcome, Drew. Thank you. So how's your weekend been going so far? My best friend's in town, so it's Woo! been fun. We've been, you know, doing the L.A. thing. Yeah. Not the touristy things because she's been here too many times, but yeah. like <laughs> like the insider L.A. Things. I love it. I've also been stalking you guys on social media because yes. all I do is sit at home and stalk my friends. <laughs> I have FOMO, so. How was your weekend? <laughs> my weekend was chill. Um, I just worked, slept, mm. went to go see Avengers again. Listen. We've I'm seen s- it the first time together. Yeah, seen it a third time tomorrow. Yes. So. so here we are. So I had a really chill, washed weekend. But I'm here. It's Sunday. I'm happy to be back. Drew and I are going to tear down this <laughs> back to reality rundown as best as we can and try to make you guys laugh as best as we can. So let's get into our first segment, Moments of the Week. Moments like yes. this, when it's time to get Ayy. ill, we be so ahead of time. I thought like you could just, I love how we try to twerk to these songs. Hey, 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 turn up, turn up. You can't see it, but I'm throwing it <laughs> <laughs> Throw that ass in a circle. Just like the first topic. (laughs) Child, oh my goodness. So the first topic, we're going to start off with one of my faves, our girl Cardi B. I am obsessed with Cardi Cardi B. Gang, gang. Uh, It says that Cardi B turns down a deal. The rapper turned down a plea deal offer uh, to plead guilty to a Class A misdemeanor charge in which she would receive a conditional discharge. Now that she rejected one plea deal, the the original charge against her remains. She has also been ordered not to have contact with the woman involving, including comments on social media. So for those who don't know, Cardi B had gotten into a fight with this young woman um, at a strip club. Allegedly, the woman was one of the women who were sleeping with Cardi B's baby daddy offset. But Cardi B is that type of girl who don't got who don't ask questions and she throws the hands. Allegedly. Allegedly. And allegedly, uh, she got in the fight and threw the hands. So our girl Cardi B headed to court, but she turned down a plea deal because she ain't snitching. Allegedly. Listen. As Scott Disick <laughs> said <laughs> one time, you're a real hood bitch. <laughs> And I really like. I listen, need that as my ringtone. Same. That's my favorite thing he's ever said. But no, I, I am. Um, you know, Cardi, Cardi's real. Cardi's a real deal. She's not a snitch. So I'm not. I'm not surprised by it. I hope yeah. she doesn't end up. You know, getting screwed over. And I all know. This. I hope it's just fishy because homegirl, the girls. One, you should never put your hands on anybody. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying Cardi did, but it's unfortunate because then, like, with her and the whole Nicki beef, the girls were in Nicki Minaj's videos. They all follow each other. Success. Same thing with the Remy Ma thing, and I'll touch on that later because we're going to speak on Remy Ma, how, like, weirdly, the people involved in these two girls follow Nicki and in love with Nicki Minaj. Um, and her fan base is a little crazy. Yep. Say my Twitter account got suspended one time because I said the Queen album wasn't her greatest album. The Barbs, the Beehive, the Future Hive, they don't play. They do not. <laughs> the Navy's, Rihanna's group is good. It's because they smoking weed. <laughs> right, on a the beat. They minding their own business. But those damn Barbs and that Beehive and Future Hive, and there's another group that's like really, they love their people. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Barty Gang? No, Barty Gang. Barty Gang is chill. I feel like any of like the the ex Disney kids have really crazy uh, fan base. Let's not even get into them. But but let's get into this because I personally <laughs> love this love story. Um, <laughs> Tierra Mari is now on the run thanks to the good the good boy Fifty Cent. <laughs> He's crazy. The loving hip hop star has a warrant out for her arrest after she failed to show up for a court hearing with the rapper. The judge has put out a $5,000 bench warrant after trying to reach the reality star and her lawyers. 
is she still thinking this is like foreplay? Like, like what is going low on? Low key, I feel like they're flirting with each other online. It's, yes, and it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. I, don't be wrong. I'm very much the type of flirt where I'm like, you're stupid. But in reality, I'm like, I want to make out with you. Same. But this is just like, I don't like getting courts involved. Yeah, and I get it when you sue somebody. But I like she's honest. She's like, hashtag, I ain't got it. I'm broke. She, my favorite thing that she has done, or actually that 50 did, was she made the song <laughs> and then he bought the rights to <laughs> He the is phrase. so petty. A so true she cancer. Make money from it. I was like, you're mine. How can she pay you 50? I love, I low key love him. He's crazy. I mean, I just be on the lookout for VH1's 50 and Tierra's wedding. Special. I literally, next month I see them dating. So I do too. That will be great. Uh, speaking about VH1, T.I. has an Easter surprise. Um, according to reports, the rapper and reality TV star T.I. bailed out 23 nonviolent and mostly first time prisoners on Easter Sunday. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, he joined for, for uh, okay, good night. It's <laughs> Sunday and obviously I can't talk. He joined forces with the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church and Scrap from Love and Hip Hop at Atlanta to cur curate a program which ultimately raised one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in donations and went towards seven men and sixteen women who were released. The original goal was forty thousand in forty days, and they succeeded that with eighty G's. That is amazing. Two men that I very much would like to see. Honestly, uh, honest, facts. factual. No disrespect to Tiny, but Ti, I feel like. And no disrespect to Bambi. Yo, but <laughs> the Bams. The Bams, because she could fight. Something but. about Atlanta men. Mm. ATL down south. Um, I think it's <laughs> I think it's dope though that because I feel like especially with these like new rappers, we're just like y'all are acting stupid with all your money and Ugh. you're not like how are you paying back to community? Right. And it's nice to see that you know these you know kind of legends are sitting here yeah. and really helping the culture. So that's dope. Shout I'm out to here ATL. for it. <sighs> <laughs> I just feel like there's so like Beyonce and the Knowles family in general has just been blessing us. Yes. Just like so much. So much. Um and Matthew Knowles is continuing that blessing for us, I think. I don't I actually am not sure how I feel about this right. yet. Um but <laughs> Uh, he's going to Broadway. The former manager, aka Beyonce's daddy, mm. uh, of Destiny's Child is going to Broadway with a new musical called Survival, the Destiny's Child musical. Son. He made the announcement on social media and he plans to take it to London first and then around the world. No word of any of the Destiny's Child members mm. um, are involved yet, but this news has fans in mixed reactions. Yeah, because you know what's weird? You know why Destiny's Child can't get back together? Because Matthew owns the rights. Mm. So that's why like we're never probably going to get a reunion. And I think the way Beyonce's working, she doesn't want to do anything where he gets... Like, she loves her dad, but I think she's like, you won't... Yeah. I, me, Kelly, and Michelle need to benefit from it, not you. Yeah. So I think dad was like, but you know what? F y'all. I'm going to do a play. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm taking it across the also, world. Also, I just feel like Survivor is a trash name for this. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's so many... So many names. So many names you could have gone with. But you chose Survivor. Come on, man. I don't like that. And also, there's just no one that can play Beyonce like Beyonce. Like exactly. I will never support a Beyonce biography because I don't think we're ever gonna. No find one will someone. ever play Beyonce, but Beyonce. Maybe Normani down the road. Yo, I'd give that one. Or me. So <laughs> I'll play. Are. I'll play <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> First of all, Ke yo, <laughs> Kelly. I just need whatever she's taking because Kelly has never aged and is one of the most beautiful people on this planet. I saw the episode of Smart Guy the other day where they were on it and she, I am not kidding, is the exact same person. Like, hasn't aged. That's age creepy. At all. And Her like, and Beyonce literally look like what they did in Smart Guy. They're sipping whatever Pharrell's sipping. <laughs> Facts. That's that billionaire juice. <laughs> Blood. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's go to our next segment. This is our social media segment. Let me take a selfie. Yes, yes. Pose, pose. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. <laughs> this is where Drew and I will kind of give you guys an insight of what's happening on social media for your favorite reality stars and TV stars. <sighs> yes, the good sis Kenya Moore, Miss Twirl herself, um, former Real Housewives of Atlanta star, is all smiles while on the cover of Sheen magazine with her baby girl. Oh my Brooklyn. gosh. I know. She posted on their social media about how exciting it is to see her personality develop and various skills that she's gotten. And she's so cute. That, oh my gosh, was, well, first of all, how can you be so beautiful after birthing a baby? And two, how can a baby be so beautiful? This baby really is so pretty because Mark Daly, who's Kenya's husband, is yes. 
And can I just say, from those who <laughs> I mean, um, from Brooklyn, I'm from Brooklyn. He is the owner of one of my favorite restaurants in Brooklyn, um, Soko, mm -hmm. which is. It's, I think it's not off Atlantic app. I forgot because there's two Socos in Brooklyn. Yeah. But he does the Soco where it's all soul food and they have the best red velvet. Yes. Chicken and waffles. Listen, <laughs> I went there last time I was in New York and oh. I was like, this is a move. Yes. And the drinks, shout out to Kenny and her beautiful family. Speaking about another beautiful family, P. Diddy, one of my idols. I love him. Um, him and his beautiful, beautiful kids, his daughters, they blessed the cover of Essence magazines for the next month. Um, cover in honor of Mother's Day. And as we know that Diddy and his kids lost Kim Porter tragically. So she passed away. So this, I feel like they're paying homage to Kim and Daddy. Uh, daddy. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I want Diddy to be my daddy because... That was a Freudian slip. Diddy! <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I don't blame you. I'm looking for my sugar daddy. No, let me stop. But Diddy dedicated this cover to um, his ex, Kim Porter. And inside the magazine, it's him, his sons, his daughters. And it's pretty dope. And Essence did a really uh, cool interview about, like, the love from black women. And all his kids got to sit down and talk about that. So I thought this was a very beautiful cover of Diddy and the Family. This is such a beautiful family. It's, like, unreal. Gorgeous. Quin Adopt me. Obviously, I'm looking for a daddy. Quincy, so. call me. Thanks. Facts. Whole family. Thank you. Gorgeous. Hey, Quincy. We love you over here. All right, let's. <laughs> Let's get into our next segment, bird talk, because all the birds are chirping. Uh, <laughs> this is a segment where Drew and I, well, we kind of took the segment from social media. Mm -hmm. So instead of reporting on the social media, Drew and I thought that we would act out these people's social media. Yes. I will go first. Okay. So the first person is Little Mo. Uh, so Little Mo was on her Twitter, and Little Mo be going ham sometimes. And half of the time, I don't know what she's talking about, but we love Little Mo, and I'm still <laughs> waiting for that album. Because the first album was classic a banger. and legendary. So <laughs> I'm going to try to do this for those who are not watching us and listening. I'm going to try to do this without the curses. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to try. And, and this is Little Mo. This is not Nakia doing this. <laughs> She's personally in the studio. <laughs> Little Mo's here. <laughs> I wish I could do her Philly accent. Ever have... <laughs> Okay. Ever have a dude make you laugh so hard that you start to hate all the women he ever dealt with or that he knows? You don't want him making bitches laugh? I'm sorry, I had to say bitches because it just made sense. You don't want him making bitches laugh because they just going to want to F him? I hate my possessiveness and my thoughts. LOL, 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 LOL. You know when like... That's weird. <laughs> Lil Mo, when she puts the laughing emojis, they concern me because I know that she's being dead ass. Serious. She's not laughing at all. <laughs> Lil Mo, like, I feel like we'll do a Kiki ride and stab her ex husband. Yes. If it came to it. Well, <laughs> the true queen of the, of the North, <laughs> the true heir to the Iron Throne, Maxine Waters, yes. Yes, reclaiming my time, um, had some things to say about Russia and Trump because. I'm really interested. This is my queen. Yes. I received some criticism because I said Repub supporting Trump after his crimes and work with Russians are unpatriotic. Yes, I said it. <laughs> How can you know the enemy Russia is undermining our democracy and say and do nothing? If you don't care, I do. We must impeach Putin's President Trump, reclaiming my time. That's a read, Auntie Maxine. That's yes. a read. First of all, Maxine Waters is, what, 80 now, I think? <sighs> the baddest. Like, the true queen, one of the most amazing people on this planet, mm. and we must protect her at all costs. All costs. Like, I'll fight you if you threaten my queen. Factual. The real queen on of the North. On site. On site. Gang, gang. <laughs> uh, speaking about on site, Candy Burris, uh, ex-singer, not ex, still singer of Escape, mm -hmm. popular star on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her beautiful daughter, Riley, is growing up. She literally, it's like Candy spit Riley out. It's scary. Yeah, that's her twin. Scary, scary. So Riley posted this really cute photo on social media, and Riley says, Chill Tuesday smiley face. Well, here come mama. Because you know, that's one thing about having your parents follow you on social media. Because my mom does this to me on Facebook. They yes. just want to interject and cock block everything on your social media. Um, so, and mind you, Riley is wearing this really cute black dress. At least I think it's cute. But her it's mother cute. says, What do you have on, ma'am? And then Riley writes, crying face, crying face to her mom. Her stepdad, Todd, <laughs> then comes on and says, you better take that off. Uh -oh. And I feel like he wanted to type before we beat your ass. <laughs> but he was like, I can't take on social media. Um, <laughs> so someone 
on the I am the king of fitness says, yeah, it's time to start serving little Candy. And Candy wrote him back and says, no, it ain't. Don't get her in trouble. <laughs> like, I will throw the hands. I will F you up. Don't come for my child. Yeah. She's a little girl. Yeah, don't forget. Candy be, Candy been out here. <laughs> Don't think I'm not in the club. Don't think I'm not. Oh, I'm, I miss Candy saying. I used to skate that at a Champs Roller Rink. Yes. Louisville, Kentucky on the gang. Come on, Kentucky. You know. <laughs> 502 come up. Anyway. Gang, gang. <laughs> um, in case you all aren't tired of this beef, which you probably are because I am, Ella May and Jacquees are still Lord. going at it. And so Ella May had something to say because apparently Jacquees was pulled on stage um, by Drake and sang the Trip remix <laughs> because that's Jacquees' only song that anyone knows. Damn shade. And so Ella had something to say on Twitter Ooh. and Dreezy also had something to say to protect her man. And so Ella said, I'd be so embarrassed if someone <laughs> brung me on stage and the only thing I could sing was someone else's song because nobody knew my actual music. Poor thing. That accent is everything. Thank you. I've been working on it. <laughs> and then Dreezy said, because you know, she got to protect her man. She Pull said, up. First of all, he hate, he hate performing that song. They put him on the spot, and he did what he was supposed to do. Every single he dropped is gold or plat. Humble yourself, girl. Bloop, bloop, boop. Gang, gang. Gang, on a gang. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know any of this. Actually, let me not play Jacquees like that. He did have um, a mixtape a while back that, like, yeah. did slap pretty hard. I would say his mixtape, I'm not a huge Jacquees fan, but his mixtape is really good. And I will say, after that whole Ella May thing, his album did a really good job. So, Treasy's right, but Ella May's also yeah, right. They're, I'm here for the drag. I am, too. They're both right, um, but just, like, get over it. It's, it's collab, like, enough. Collab on That's why I'm like, I'm like, Ella May, people have been doing this for ages, and the hip-hop and R&B thing, people take your songs, yeah. they sing, and they rap all over it. And then Jaque, pay homage. Like, just do an effing song together already. Yeah. Enough. And then put Dreezy so she can rap it. All right, y'all. Mm. <laughs> Let's get into our news, uh, news segment, our news and gossip segment. Flashing lights. The only time we will respect Kanye is playing <laughs> old Kanye. Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. Church of Kanye. Oh, Lord. Google Jim Jones, everybody. And don't drink the Kool Aid. And I'm not talking about the rapper. <laughs> Bowling. <laughs> Bowling. I ain't talking about that, Jim Jones. <laughs> Google Jim Jones and then come back to me next week with a report and you tell me what you think. Yeah. I say this every week, but people think I'm playing. Like, mm. well, speaking of Kanye West and keeping up with the Kardashians, which Howard and I are also on that show, make sure you guys tune in on After Buzz TV. Kate Binks. Uh, Scott Disick seems to be getting his own show. Um, Scott. After appearing on Keeping Up with the Kardashians for over a decade, Scott is getting his own show called Flip It Like Disick. It's an eight-episode house flipping and remodeling series set to air this summer on E! And it will give viewers an inside look at Scott Disick's luxurious personal and professional lives as he tackles home projects for celebrity, friends, and family. Are you into it? Will you be watching? Do you care? Is that what he does for a living? I did not know he did real estate, but he does. He flips homes. I just thought he was Lord Disick. <laughs> he is the Lord. <laughs> like... I mean, personally, for me, Scott's the most entertaining part of he Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So if there's a way that I can unplug myself from the Kardashians to watch Scott, I might be into it. And I will say, like, this season and last season, like, I really do enjoy Scott because it just actually shows Scott being a dad. And mm -hmm. he's a really good, and he loves his kids. And you kind of see the growth of Scott, and he's trying to be sober and, you know, losing his parents and doing all that. So I found it interesting that he is doing real estate. I'll probably watch. Yeah, I'll support Scott. He's the Lord, so why not? You haven't really done anything out of the pocket for me personally. Same. So I might support it. Um... So, like we were talking about earlier with the Barb's being a little sus, mm. uh, Remy Ma, who is a star of Love and Hip Hop New York and also a legendary rapper, um, is catching some heat because fellow reality star Britney Taylor is claiming that Remy punched her at a concert. Britney says the altercation was in relation to an attack on Remy's stepdaughter, Dijanae, and that, that occurred a, a few weeks ago. Britney went on her social media and posted a video with the caption, I didn't want to bring it to social media because it's pretty embarrassing. Now, a, look good, a good look, to be honest. I tried my best to cover it up with makeup and move on, but that still didn't work. Do we think Remy is back to her old ways? You didn't want to bring the social media, but you had a full-on photo shoot in a police office. Um, and then you're on Love and Hip Hop and you're following Nicki Minaj. I think it's sus and weird and I don't think that Remy has worked this hard on her husband for her to just randomly punch Britney. Like I know like when you watch Love and Hip Hop, Britney has fought 
Like, Remy on the show has tried to talk with her, try to calm her down, try to be like, yo, stop beefing mm -hmm. with Bianca, stop beefing with this girl. Remy has tried to give her insight, so I don't see Remy just going up to punch Britney in the face. And I think it is kind of corny for her to be like, oh, I didn't want to bring on social media, but here I am in front of the police station. Like, yeah. sis. There's a few things that are very sketchy about the situation, that being one of them. Another being the timeline of her bruising in her face, because y'all need, listen, y'all who want to fake this stuff, y'all need to either... Okay. <laughs> Y'all need to pay attention because her face her face in the photo is like already purple and black. That takes about on average 72 hours for it to get that dark. Exactly. So you're telling me that the night that this happened, you went directly to the police station and it was already that color. Lies. Like, it looks like she's been waiting a week before posting it. Yeah. And then she's been going on her way. So, you know, for those who don't know, Remy is now waking, wearing her ankle bracelet. Um, and she can't really travel right now. But I don't know. I just think it's kind of sus. And I just don't think Remy would mess up the bag or what she has with her family for yeah. someone like Brittany Taylor. And I don't, I just, it's, there's too many sus things to it. I don't it's, believe it. It's crazy. It's crazy. Something that I don't believe. Black China. I love her. Uh, it looks like she wants to start over. It looks like the reality star is thinking about dropping her case against the Kardashians. In the lawsuit which China initially filed in October 2017, she alleged that Chris, Kylie, Chloe, and Kim unlawfully plotted to terminate season two of Rob in China. I was thinking, where is that show? <laughs> Causing her to lose a lot of financial gain. A source says China wants the Kardashian to give her another chance and she's in testing the waters with them. China's on a journey and wants to put the past behind her. Do we think China is going to change? Okay, well, due to the recent um, <laughs> revelation... <laughs> Because oh, I don't man. know about you, but I was shocked. That I was shocked. China's too. Harvard exception was fake. I'm not shocked. I'm sorry. That's no. I'm. I was very. I was like, mm, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But like that whole situation was fake. I don't know. I just think once a scammer, always a scammer. That's a fact. I think. I think. China, because, you know, China and Rob tweeted recently to each other how they're, like, great parents. Yeah. And I think she's trying to get her life together, but I feel like she's going about it in the wrong ways. And I just feel like, you know, like, her and Amber aren't friends anymore, and I feel like there's something with that. I just feel like she needs to take a step back off of social media and do the things you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to post, like, I'm going to Harvard and it's not real. And then, yeah, yeah you're, and I'm embarrassed for her. Like, I felt bad. I'm like, damn, China, come on. Yeah, because the situation that bothers me is that she's, I don't think she's a bad mom. I no. think she I think she loves her kids. I think she does a good job. And I think that should be enough. But for some reason, I feel like she has this need to prove to everyone yeah. else. And it's like, girl, just mind your business and, and take care of your kids. baby. And she's a great mom. I yeah. love her with her kids and I just feel like that's kind of what Amber did. Amber stepped off and Amber started doing her own thing whether people like or wish you don't like about the slut walk. Amber is taking care of her kids. Mm -hmm. You don't really see her out like that. So it's like, China, I just feel like you need to just take a step back from social media yeah. and deal with your kids and if you are going to school, kudos, do your thing and go to school. Yeah, because I definitely do believe that the Kardashians probably have something to do with that Fuck sketchiness. Sure. And it's just like, girl, just take a step back, mind your own and let karma handle it. Exactly. Because it's, it's going it's to come. Sure. Kardashians mess with too many black people for it not to come <laughs> <laughs> um, MTV has announced that they will be doing their first ever reality con, which is a fan convention Ooh. for all things reality TV. It's going to bring together stars and producers of some of the best known modern reality se uh, series to discuss everything from the genre's indisputable influence on modern entertainment at large to some of the series that helped pave the way for shows like The Real World, Survivor, The Real Housewives, Jersey Shore. Wow. Um, they haven't released the date or the location, but are we here for this? That's very interesting. Weird, but interesting. Yeah. I Because weird, but weird in a good way. Mm -hmm. um, because reality TV is something that I feel like the TV world didn't think would take over the way it did. And we've been getting over 20 years of it. Damn near, actually, no, I'm sorry, 30, over 30 years of mm -hmm. reality TV. So I think it's kind of cool. And I think it'd be cool if you can meet your favorite past reality stars. Yeah. Because I always wonder, what happened to the ladies from Flavor of Love? Where, where they at? I think about Pumpkin at least five times a day. <laughs> like, where's Bucky? Like, I want to see uh, those people. Getting buck wild. <laughs> I, wanna, I want them to do a meet and greet so I think it's weird but in a good way weird yeah like it's cool I I mean we both work in reality TV yes um, you we meet these people you <laughs> yes. know we work with these people and they really are something interesting so if there's a place where like the regular you know Joe the average Joe can go meet them and kind of hear because I don't mm. think people understand what all goes into reality TV Honey. in all of the steps it's not just simply turning on the camera and making it happen mm -hmm. and um, 
Yeah, I think it. I think it would be really interesting to see if you haven't seen the TV show Unreal on Lifetime. I think that's a great example yes. of like what actually goes on, and you should check it out. But I'm I'm here for I'm it. I'm here for it. We're gonna go. We're gonna let y'all know. We're gonna be on a panel. Yeah. We're gonna be on panel. Speaking about reality stars and where everybody is, let's get into our next segment. Where they at though? Hey, where they at though? Ti, we would like to see it. Where, where they at, at though? though? Where that though? Where that? Because I know it's I know it's strong. I know it. The way he be talking. <laughs> Sorry, Tiny. <laughs> Tiny will fight me. Uh, on this season of Where They At, though, Octo Mom. Who remembers Octo Mom? Am I giving my age away? Eight to the dome. <laughs> hey. Well, Natalie Solman, the woman better known as Octo Mom, who had all the eight babies. She looks good. She does. Her mother who gave birth to eight babies. Um, and speak of reality stars, this is when she was starting to get into it, and it was it was it was weirdness and. Good in a weird way. Uh, mm-hmm. She is ready to be back in the spotlight. The mom who gave birth to eight kids via IVF, um, but has a total of 14. Sorry. <laughs> she, Excuse. She had more kids after that? I'm sorry. Uh, she posted on her social media that she's open to coming back to reality TV when her kids get a little older. I like that. The mom had a deal with a UK production company a few years back, but it turned. Uh, but she turned it down. Do we want to see her on the screens again? Um, I'm conflicted by this because I used to love John and Kate plus eight. I was just thinking about but that. But <laughs> I always think about those kids and like, I'm like, damn, I hope they aren't like forever messed up because their yeah. parents went full blown crazy on TV. So I know I get very weird about like kids being on reality TV. But I think as far as the concept, it would right. be interesting to see a mom with 14 kids. Right. And I think it would be cool if they do do it. You're absolutely right. Because I thought of John and Kate plus eight. And I'm like, damn, John is off He's here. Off. He's <laughs> off. And they started off as, as a beautiful family mm-hmm. with their eight kids. But I think it'd be cool to show like an IVF thing and what a lot of women and men are going through when they're trying to have kids. I think that would be cool. Yeah. And I like that she says she'll wait till her kids get older. Like wait till their, they can make that choice for yeah, their yeah, own. Yeah instead of putting them on cameras because you're right I don't want to see them 10 years from now they're on what's the show that you have on VH1 all, The Surreal Life <gasps> The Surreal Life they should bring back The Surreal Life yeah um, listen please <laughs> it's, it's, y'all can't y'all don't understand that there's new fresh ideas if you're gonna bring back a show please bring back Surreal the surreal life. life. I would like to see surreal life and flavor of love. Yes. And I love New York. Yes. <laughs> All right, kids, let's get into our next segment, Villain of the Week. <laughs> this is my favorite segment because this is where we get to drag someone who's not being so nice <laughs> in the media this week. And this is um, Villain of the Week via reality TV. So mm-hmm. for those who have been watching Hustle and Soul, one of my guilty pleasures because it's one of my favorite restaurants in New York City, uh, Thandy, 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 and Lawrence. Uh, on this week's episode, Hustle and Soul, so, Vandy, the ex of the owner, Lawrence, has a breakdown after and ends up slapping, punching, and yelling at Lawrence after he tells her he will stay with Anna, his current wife, and Thandy was a mistake, and they should have never messed around together. And for those who don't know, so Lawrence is this owner of this amazing soul food restaurant in New York. Like, amazing. It's been around for, like, ages, right? He has a baby mother girlfriend named Anna. They've been doing their thing, living his life. But he starts having an affair with his mistress with a girl who works in a restaurant, which is weird to me. Like, you do not eat where you shit. You don't shit where you eat. Excuse my language, but that was just weird. So then they got a deal for reality TV, and they put it all on the show. And ex-girlfriend and new girlfriend were fighting over Lawrence, which I don't really understand why, but yeah. okay. Maybe it's strong. I don't know. Uh, so now Hustle and Souls in, what, season three? And, he's t- and Thandy, his mistress, is kind of obsessed, like... Like, obsessed, obsessed. Mm-hmm. And her and Anna, all they do is fight in the shop. So I guess this is the time when he was like, you know what? I, him and Anna currently got married. I'm going to stay with her. And Thandy just couldn't take it. So she beat him up. Moral of the story is, don't shit what you eat. Facts. That's really, like, That's don't weird. be stupid. Don't be stupid. No, don't if be you, mad at me stupid. Don't be mad at me stupid. Blue face voice. But if you're, <laughs> like, if you're, if you're truly want to be that big of a trash can and cheat, can you cheat somewhere where it's not going to come conflict with your life? Can you life? Cheat, cheat with my employees? Yeah, I feel like, your it's, wife not, I feel like we, it's not that hard. We own the restaurant together. And his mom also works there, too. So that's See. fun. Come on, Lawrence. Get it together. But great show. Yeah, I wish I would try to bring some ish like that up in front of my mama. Can you? My mother will drag me, literally, I would not be here today. <laughs> today. <laughs> today. Today. Okay, speaking about today, tomorrow, and past, present, future, let's get into our last segment, shows to watch. Drew, take it away. All right. So, season 5073 of The Challenge has just come out. <laughs> I can't. Um, this is The Challenge War, War of the World. Um, are we over it? <laughs> are yes. We, yeah. I just, like, 
here's the thing. I I was curious because um, I work with MTV a lot, and I was curious to see who these people were. And there's so many people that one aren't even a part of the MTV universe. No. And two, it's like all your favorites from the old days aren't there. And that's the thing. So I was reading up on Real World and uh, Road Rules, like. Not to give my age away, but sis is up there a little bit. <laughs> Goodbye. The, fir- the first Real World came on when I was like six. That's what I'll just say. I'll keep it there. It's They're in 32 seasons. I just feel like... But then I don't want to be that person that's hating. I feel like if you are going to do it, something, be a little bit more creative. Mm-hmm. Like maybe take a break for a year or two and then come together and like every like once in a year do like... OG's real world versus OG's road rules. Yeah. You know, like, because this challenge with everybody, it's 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 enough for me. Yeah, because the problem with this show is that there's no... They used to have really good concepts. Yes. And so it would be like exes or like fresh meat versus, you know, veterans. That and it's good. like there was instant alliances already built and you could strategize and it was really interesting. Now it's just, it's a social media game, especially because social media is playing into it. So you yeah. see these people beefing online. So you already kind of have an idea of what's going to happen. I just, I don't mm. know if challenge, the challenge, in my opinion, will do well in this current social media wor- world. I don't think so either. I'd like to see them try something different. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. Well, bring back uh, road rules. That would be cool. Do something cool. Like bring something that we haven't seen. Bring the road rules back. Because you know they're bringing back real world. Mm-hmm. And it's now going to be on Facebook. So that's cool. Yeah. Bring the road rules back. Because the challenge, I'm like, I don't get it anymore. And it was cool. Like you said, they had like boys versus girls. Or I don't know. Like Battle of the Seasons. That's dope. That was one of my favorite That's ones. really dope. So MTV, if you you need people to help pitch. You got Drew and I here you already have to help your, your you. Yes. Drew, thank you so much for holding it down with me on Back to Reality and Thanks. Sipping Tea. Thanks for having me. Of course, you're welcome to come back anytime. Tell the peeps where they can find you, what you're doing, where um, you're at. Yes, you guys, if you like comic book stuff, I do a lot of the comic book shows here at After Buzz TV, so you Queen. can check me out on Thursday on Cloak and Dagger, or if you just want to, you know, chat about life and the pursuit of happiness, you can slide into my DMs at OK Drew J. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Drew. You're welcome. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to everything BHL and follow everything BHL. We are now on Spotify, iTunes, and if you guys listen to us on iTunes and Spotify, hi. hi. Sorry for always yelling. I just feel like you can always see us, but you can't. Sorry. Uh, you can find me on all social media at Kiki Boom Boom, and if you are into keeping up the Kardashians, myself and Howard, we do that on our sister channel, After Buzz TV. We do that after, every Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific time. And then on Wednesdays, Drew and I, we do the most ratchet, but lovable Black Ink Chicago in New York. And then Ooh. on Sunday, no, okay, good night. It's time for me to go to bed. All right, y'all, we'll see you next week because I was going to start repeating the whole cycle again. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> On behalf of our BHL staff, we would like to thank you for tuning in to Black Hollywood Live, the world's first digital broadcast network devoted entirely to urban entertainment and pop culture. Check out our Black Hollywood Live YouTube page for even more great programming and amazing content. And be sure to subscribe and like our channel when you do. I'm your BHL host, Nakia Monet, and you can find me on all social media at Kiki Boom Boom or at Black Hollywood Live. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.